My name is Steve. I've been diagnosed since September of 2017. With retirement, I need, knew I needed some additional insurance. So I had the test from the insurance company and that's when the anomaly was noticed. First diagnosis, uh, the problem I had was accepting C that I had CLL. Uh, once I accepted the fact that there was something going on in my body, then I started learning about it and started researching it. Uh, the, when you first hear it, and you hear what the diagnosis is, you really don't hear what the doctor is saying to you. You don't understand what the doctor is saying to you. As you get further along into it, you start to understand because you start to research yourself. Plus you read the materials that they give you. What I would caution everybody is, your plan is different from what you see in the brochures. The brochures give a general information. Your doctor is the one who will be able to give you specifics and help you along there. My treatment plan is very simple right now. It's a watch and wait. Uh, watch and see, watch and wait. Uh, I am in the beginning stages of CLL and uh, there's not much they can do for me at this time, uh, but my hematologist has laid out exactly what would happen and how he would help me as it, as it progresses, if it does progress. What I found is that you need to tell your doctor everything. Don't hold anything back. The slightest little thing could make a difference in, in how they help you. If you have the communication, if you talk to them, if you go over everything with them, and they will tell you step by step what needs to be done. The difference between when I first was diagnosed and today, which is uh, going on two years later, is the uncertainty in the beginning. Uh, the first thing you hear is that you have cancer, you have blood cancer, and the, the first thing that goes through your mind is how, how long do I have? As you go along, you realize that your treatment, your doctors, the support group help you get through that so that the, and again, it's all stress self-created stress and as you go along you then you're more calmer about what's going what's happening the big thing now is that instead of the support coming to me I'm giving out support in our group because we sit there and we help those who were, were in my shoes back in 2017 the only thing additional I would say again is anybody who's diagnosed, have support, relax, listen to your doctors, communicate with your doctors, come to the cancer support centers.